All right, so I'm starting the winterization of my banana plants. Uh, you can see I've cut off all the leaves uh, <clears throat> on both of them. This one is definitely bigger. You can see there's three pups there. Or two pups, I should say, and the, the mother plant, I guess you'd say. All right, now we're on to covering it up. All right, so I have now wrapped the trunk, the banana trunk in, and the uh, pups in a frost cloth. Uh, I said burlap, but it's actually frost cloth. And then I've used this uh, copper spray fungicide. Basically, it just keep, helps keep insects off of it um, and whatnot. And you just mix it into like a, a spray bottle and just spray it out. Like that. And then I got my TP up. There really should be four. I used these for my palms last year and only did three by accident. But three is enough for um, for what I need for these bananas this year. So I'm just going to reuse them. And then uh, you see the C9 Christmas lights underneath. And that's about it um, for now. And then I'm going to wrap it with a blanket that I bought as well as a tarp. Tie it all up. And then I've done the same thing on this one. So I've got all my lights down yet. You see this one's a little bit larger. And I have a little bit larger teepee as well, which I'll be putting up. And I'll see you when we get All right, so next step, you can see that I've got the blanket around it with um, a vent at the top. And then uh, a thermal cube, which turns on at uh, four degrees Fahrenheit or off at seven degrees Fahrenheit. Um, sorry, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, and then um, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a plug that goes from this around here into that outlet and then transfer for the other one as well across the yard to this guy which I've got to wrap now. All right so this is uh, the completion of the covering for the one by the fence, the banana by the fence. Um, so you can see I wrapped it with a blanket and then I've wrapped it with a tarp and I've got a hole in here for some drainage. Um, that's about it. So now I've got this one over here to do. And my bananas are wintered. Uh, a little early to do them yet, but I figured they're not going to get harmed um, doing them a little earlier. It's going to get cold real quick here. And uh, time is of the essence with me. And trying to find the right amount of time to do this properly. I don't want to rush doing it. So uh, here we are. All right, so we're all complete here. So the last one's boxed up. Again, I have a hole back here for venting. Uh, you don't need too big, like a couple of inches. As long as you can get your hand in there and you can feel there's an opening. Just to vent the, the excess heat out and the moisture that builds up. Um, you're going to see here, I've got, so I've got my blue cable here hooked up to my GCFI breaker box in here making sure it's covered up for the winter and then uh, I plug my thermocube in here it will turn everything on and off at the correct temperatures and then I've got my lights for this tree going here and I've got my other extension cord running all the way across to this tree I've tested both uh, both lights with the key hit the cords everything is good so the next test will be when it gets cold enough that the thermocube should turn on and uh, we'll see if it works, but otherwise, all done for the bananas. Next up is the um, the palm trees, the pindo and the washi. And uh, I think I'm gonna wait another week or so for these, but uh, shortly they'll be they'll be going too. Look at that! Look at that! Look at how much growth that's gotten. There's a spear right there. So we're uh, we're almost on to the next set of fronds. It seems to push out about three at a time. And then you got wash, my washi here. It's starting to yellow here. I think that's just from frost damage. Uh, it's just super low to the ground, and um, I'm not too worried about it. I think it's going to grow no problem next year. You can see my spear a little bit, but uh, it basically stopped growing maybe about uh, three weeks ago or so. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully, you guys like it. If you have any questions about what I've done, um, feel free to hit me up in the comments and let me know. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.